Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, this is part two of uh, Throne of Baal. What am I playing? <laughs> the Enhanced Edition. Okay. Uh, we're going to set on out to continue the story. Bless these cutscenes. The general is too busy to meet with the likes of these commoners. Move along and no one gets hurt. These people represent the concerns of the entire town. Please, good soldiers, hear their case. Our food is almost gone. Our children cry out in hunger. Your master must hear our pleas. The plight of peasants is not Gromnir Ilkhan's concern. Stand aside, townsfolk. If you know what's good for you, you'll all head back to your homes. The army outside the city will surely kill us all. Your master cannot just turn his back on us. Clear these gates. You won't get another warning. Threats are not the answer here. Everyone stay calm and we can work together to find a solution. Our orders are clear. Move these peasants along, or we'll move them along ourselves. No one do anything rash. Uh, perhaps if we return later, when it is more convenient for Gromner Ilkhan to see us? No, Melisan. We will not be bullied this time. We will stay right here until they take us to Gromnir. We demand to see Gromnir. Take us to Ilkhan. There is just no reasoning with you people. You only understand the edge of a sword. I told you to clear these gates! You brought this on yourselves! No! Put down your weapons! This is not necessary! What's this? A child of Ball appears from nowhere? Impossible. Unless... Intruders! Spies! The walls have been breached! Slay the invaders! Attack! No, hold your weapons. These might be allies. Come to help. Don't fall for their tricks. Kill them all, and let the gods sort them out. Wow, they all just casted spells in time with each other. That was kind of amazing. Alright, I should be paying attention to what's going on. Gwarf Potion. Why? She's back to being like murdered. Name it. Get out of there. Greetings, I am Melisande, a friend. Welcome to Saradush. I regret your first encounter in this town was so bloody. How do you know my name? I have watched the events of your life quite closely, Chloe, as I do with all the progeny of the Lord of Murder. I have seen many of your kin slain over these past months. Why are Ball's children of such interest to you? You might consider me to be a guardian, for want of a better term. I know the prophecies of Alando. I know some feel they allude to the return of Ball and to the realms. By taking an active interest in the fate of Baal's offspring, you and those like you, I hope to prevent the Lord of Murder from returning to the realms in any form. So you are just another person meddling in the fate of Baal's children? I do not know how you came to be here, Chloe, but I fear you are now trapped here in Saradush like the rest of us. Trapped? By who? Beyond the walls of Saradush awaits the army of Yagashura. They have laid siege to this town, seeking the death of all those here who share your tainted blood. Is there any hope of stopping this slaughter? First, we must deal with General Gromnir. 
the man who now runs the city of Saradush. Gromnir is also a child of Baal, and was once a powerful general. I brought him and his loyal men here to protect Saradush and the many Baalspawn gathered here seeking sanctuary. But Gromnir is mad. He has barricaded himself in the castle throne room, and his troops run amok through the town with no regard for the lives and rights of the citizens of Saradush. I'm not a huge fan of any of these dialogue options. Where's like the kind of half-hearted, eh, sure, I'll do something, I guess. Such a betrayal is worthy of death. The actions of Gromnir and his soldiers have caused dissension within the town and made it almost impossible for the loyal Saradush militia to defend the walls. We must first defeat the army within before we can end this siege. You must find a way to get inside the castle to Gromnir. Perhaps you can reason with him. But I fear he is beyond reason. I am afraid you will have to kill the general to give Saradush any hope of surviving the siege. For the sake of the town, I will try to reason with this mad general. I may be difficult to find after this, Chloe. The town suffers and my hours are spent doing what I can for the people. If you have another question, I suggest you ask it now. I have no more questions, Melisande. The fate of Saradush is on my shoulders and I shall not falter. The siege could last a few days or a few months. Act quickly, Chloe, and may fortune shine on your mission. Right, I forgot that we get uh, fireballed if we're outside. You can actually see the guards or people around you will be like, oh gosh, flee, and you've got a certain amount of time to get out of dodge. Okay. Um, I actually don't know where to go. Sort of haven't really been given much to go by. If you say so. I got some cheap beer for ya. Why do I have haste? That's okay. We're all just going to run around really quickly, okay? Alright, um, oh, I should have decked out their spells, whatever strips. Why do I have increased movement rate? What? Oh, I've got boots of speed. Yeah, yeah, okay. Why does she... Oh, okay, we've got two of the... Okay. All right, I'm with you. I'm following. All right, um... Melisan brought a general, yep. Only to have him lock himself into the castle. He refuses. Yep, yep, yep. I will have to find some way into the castle to deal with Gromnir. Perhaps a meeting will be a peaceful one. Okay. don't rightly remember how this works. From memory, I think you can get in via the prison. Whoops. Okay, maybe... I think the key might be in here. Oh. E everything's locked. Ready and willing. So good, Imo, and we'll save the day. Good Maybe. Something up? Right, you are. 
Okay, so we can either get into the sewers. I think you can get into the sewers via the prison as well. Hi, hey, nobody allowed in here but Gromnir's men. You about five seconds to slink out of here before I turn my men loose on you. I'm sorry, we're not looking for trouble. Get moving then, I'm already counting those five seconds. Oh. Told you to get out of here. You don't listen good, do you? Maybe a few extra holes in your head will help your hearing. It's great. I'm just going to sit back and let my people do their thing. Just make sure none of them get murdered. This is like what the combat would be like if I was actually any good at the combat. Ooh, I also just realized Animan needs to level up. Also, he's also um, Sir Animan, which means uh, he's just by default become a knight. Because I definitely didn't do that back in the last game. Okay, somewhere there will be a key. Oop, let's take that. It's always a good thing to have on hand. Okay, so in, I'm assuming in one of these locked ones. Ah yes, perfect. I'm assuming that key is what we're after. So happy you brought me with you. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. Oh nice. I think that's potion of yeah, superior healing. Let's give that to actually Emo and should keep that because geez, she gets pulverized every time. Actually, let's just okay. skedaddle. So there are like a bunch of, I guess, side quests that you can do while you're here. Sure you can do it nicely done. Name it. All right. Go for the eyes, fool. Go for the eyes, yeah! Take that. Nope, can't carry any more. That one's on the ground. Okay, well, given that I can't use this, which I'm quite devo about. Don't quite know why an archer couldn't use elvish armor. I feel like that would be the perfect person to use elvish armor. Let's just dump that there. Um, this is like a neat warhammer. Sorry, but I couldn't hold that last item. It's on the ground. No, I can't carry any more. Oh, I'm sorry, I dropped something. Who needs an and needs a weapon? You take that. We've got crushing and crushing. That's always good. <laughs> the whole point is to give them like different kinds of weapons that do different kinds of damage. If you say so. Because some enemies are immune to um, certain damage. I don't actually know where we need to go. Go for the eyes. I'm glad we're getting all these potions. A, eh? let's divvy them up a little bit. Got it. 
Okay, I'm assuming if we... Oh! Oh. Oh, so they were down here trying to like weaken the defenses or something? Oh jeez. Something you need. It's like the only issue of having characters that can move at double speed is they get ahead of everyone. Oh, hello, there are shades. Okay, we need to take out this kid. You're welcome, Sarah Douche. Yep. Just give me okay, so I'm going to assume the castle is off in this corner. For no other reason than because that's what the map is. No. <laughs> oh, this is zone of dead air or something. Any time today, Airy. Thank you. I wonder if False Dawn will help in any way, shape or form here. Oh, she's being attacked so she won't be able to cast it anyways. Sorry, someone was trying to heal someone, actually. What can I do? shall be ours. You know this. Yep. They're gonna regen okay. anyway, so it's not too much of an issue. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh no. <laughs> sure thing. Close. If you say so. My logic wasn't necessarily wrong. Just went to the wrong place. Oh, Viconia. Ah, that's maybe what we need. Yeah, because you're being attacked, love. Oh, nice. Thankfully these guys are minions, so it's not too much of a big deal. Yeah, okay, so this is where we want to be. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I'm kinda thinking I might swap um, boots because it's great that Viconia is running ahead but she doesn't have the most hit points in the world um, oh 
Nope. Uh, mouse. Thank you. Just give me a sec. Oh, oh my! Can't believe for a hot second there I was contemplating giving Immo in the want? boots. She would just run in and die. Yeah, we've got enough ones that I've not even touched yet. <laughs> Don't need any more. Okay, I'm assuming this is some kind of item. Probably should have gone ahead and sold some stuff before I stormed the castle. Okay, that definitely went a lot better than previous uh, battles. I think giving Minsk those boots was definitely the right move. Uh, okay, so I need to pick up some stuff. Verily. I am pleased at the progress that this ill-conceived group has made. I had not thought such a thing Ready possible. Willing. Oh, I shouldn't get her to walk off by herself. <laughs> Something you sure I have a feeling this is where we need to go, though. Again, this is all just muscle memory. I see I'm not the only child of Ball who is seeking an escape from Gromnir's madness. What are you talking about? Well, since you were skulking around the nether regions of this castle, I have to assume you were seeking to escape this place, as am I. Actually, I'm trying to find a way in to see Gromnir. You might want to rethink that. Gromnir is mad. He's randomly executing anyone he thinks might be a traitor. Most of the ball spawn just go along with his wild accusations, trying to avoid drawing attention to themselves, but I can't stand it any more. Now I understand why you're trying to escape this place. Executing innocent people just isn't right. How long until Grumnir points his finger at me? I just want to get as far away from that madman as possible. Can you give me any advice on how to get inside to see Grumnir? There's a host of patrols just down this corridor. They're guarding some prisoners Gromnir plans to execute. If you're careful, you could sneak past them and into the castle. But watch out. There's traps and alarms all over the place. Most of them are so sensitive they go off if you get close to them. Keep a wide berth if you know what's good for you. Of course, I think you're mad if you want to get in to see Gromnir. I recommend you turn back and get out of here, like me. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure this is where I need to go. <laughs> we can only but try. 
Um, I shall leave that for the next video though. Uh, I think there's like a cutscene conversation, boss battle situation. So I shall just leave things here, pick it up in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Whoever has been, as always, I greatly appreciate it. And on that note, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye!